I'm doing something that very few people do when they're making bows, and that is utilize the heartwood of a hickory. Usually you just use what's right at the surface of the tree, under the bark. But I split out the center piece of the stave. And what's weird about it is that there's little sections of bark inside the wood. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to get this smooth because as I split it, there was all kinds of stringy pieces that I need to get off. And I'm trying to get these weak spots that contain bark out of the wood. And then from there, I'll make my layout. What I'm doing now is I'm tracing a growth ring on the sides and the ends of this bow. I'm going to go two growth rings from the beginning of the heartwood because I would like a light colored back of my bow and a dark colored belly. So now I'm just going to take my draw knife and remove everything that is above that line. But first I have to sharpen all my tools. Hickory is a very hard wood and it dulls draw knives very fast. I'm not sure if you guys can see these little brown marks here, but that's the early wood. It's kind of a golden brown color, and I can tell that I'm going through a growth layer when I get to that. So I'm going to try and stop every time I get to those little brown hash marks. Now for the fun part, I get to lay out the design of this bow. This big knot right here, I actually want to shoot through that knot, so I'm going to drill it out and my arrow will pass through that hole. Which means that needs to be an inch and a half above center. Because this spot is the weakest part of my bow, I'm going to make that the ends and the ends don't bend. So that means this way of center. I'll we'll measure from center down is 26 and 3 quarters. And center up right about there. Seems like every bow I've ever made has had limb twist. So this top limb needs to go that way. In order to make it stay that way, 
I'm going to heat it up with this heat gun, bend it too far, and then hold it there until it cools down. Let's tr give it a try. All right, moment of truth when I take all these weights off. It should stay straight. Looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. So now I want to just flatten off this handle and I can start tillering. Okay, so I'm checking the bend and then I notice that there's a weak spot right here. So I'm gonna mark all around it. So now I'm gonna go use my draw knife as a scraper and remove all of my Sharpie marks. This is a long process of marking and removing wood. Um, it often takes me an entire day of work to get this right, but a good tiller is the difference between a bow and two broken pieces of wood. Now this is a small bow, so I'm only gonna draw back to 23 inches, which is right there. Right there, ready? Boom. 23 inches. So now I'm gonna go trim some arrows for 23 inches, shape the handle, drill out the center, and we've got a completed bow for a small person. Hickory heartwood and sapwood on the back, so it's got two colors of wood. I drilled out a knot in the center, shaped a handle. Blunt points for hunting rabbits and grouse. It's a pretty fun little bow. but I'm not gonna keep it, I'm gonna give it away. Check out those voicemail I just got. That's pretty cool.